Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Sunday, September 23rd, 102 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Disaster happens. Are you prepared? Prepare now. Learn how. Watch our channel. It is September, which is National Preparedness Month every year, which makes it National Preparedness Month 2018. Head over to ready.gov backslash September to get more info. And you should need the info because if you're picking up what we're putting down, five moderate earthquakes, including three magnitude five or greater and one magnitude six, just kicked off in the last 20 minutes as I was making the video. Four, five magnitude or greater in 20 minutes, culminating in a 6.4 outside of Guam at 10 kilometers. And this is on the island. We'll get a close-up later. So, not, not a bad time to start preparing as earthquakes are increasing. Florence's rain leads to a destructive wall of water snaking down the Carolinas. Conway, South Carolina, dangerous floodwaters continue to threaten the Carolinas more than a week after Hurricane Florence made landfall. At least 43 deaths are blamed on the storm, and the Waccamaw and Cape Fear rivers are still rising. We will check the USGS streamflow data graphs tomorrow, and we will update you if that's the truth and make some potential forecasts on when these rivers are peaking. Now, Hurricane Florence's rain has become a slow-moving but destructive wall of water, snaking down the Carolinas where hundreds are currently under evacuation orders. The only way to reach some homes in Conway, South Carolina, is by boat, and there is a massive effort underway to protect what could be the only way in and out of town. Matthew said, Matheny said 300 soldiers were part of the effort to build four miles of temporary dam in just one week. These are the types of efforts going just to secure some of these areas. Texas record-breaking rainfall has an ancient spring flowing again. Record-breaking rainfall has the, in San Antonio, a place that breaks its September rainfall record of 15.78 inches set back in 1946. After three weeks of deluges, the San Antonio River's most prolific spring is flowing again. The Blue Hole was the reason this area was first settled over 300 years ago. Huh, we are repeating a cycle. In this case, a wet cycle in Texas. Has everything to do with the sun and nothing to do with you folks. Tropical Storm Kirk forms in the Atlantic. Going to stay a tropical storm as it heads towards the Leeward Islands 2 p.m. Thursday. Come check it out in the links below. Aho Basin, that's Arapaho Basin, is officially making snow. The earliest start in a decade. This guy is stoked, even though he looks like a ferg. <laughs> yes, I said it. Check out the GFS models, kids. It is heavy snow in the Arctic, heavy snow in southern Greenland. Over 40 centimeters. Oh, my goodness. These are inches. That's over three feet of snow in southern Greenland. And heavy snow across almost all of Canada. Only excluded southern Ontario. This is through October 3rd. And we're going to have snow moving all the way south into the mountains where I live. This Thursday, September 27th, in just four days. This snow may come all the way into Arizona. So we're going to watch it closely. There could be some snow in New Mexico in the mountains, but you can clearly see here Pikes Peak getting in on the action, some of the northern mountains. Heavy pickup here in northern Wyoming. Some moderate snow in Montana, but we're going to be watching this closely. These, this is some nice fall development. Heavy snow in Alberta and British Columbia. Devastating any farmers that are looking to harvest any crops that were laying out there. It's pretty stressful. Snow threatens northwest Saskatchewan harvest. Now we just show you what was going to happen in the southwest over the coming weeks. It's going to be buried. You can hear the frustration in Devin Walker's voice. He wants to be in the field harvesting his crops. The problem is it's under more than an inch of snow, and more snow is predicted. We just showed you the models. It's pretty stressful. Walker said from his farm near Lashburn, Saskatchewan, about 225 kilometers north of Saskatoon. While producers in the southern Saskatchewan have, on average, more than 80% of their crop in the bin, thankfully, because they're about to be buried, the northwest is another story entirely because it's been snowing there since summer. 
Now, according to the Canadian environmental groups, it's supposed to be the hottest fall ever. And apparently the snow is very hot. It's falling. <laughs> and that's a wrap on summer because it's been snowing since summer in parts of Canada. Sixty-eight collisions reported Saturday as snow persists in Edmonton. This is also Canada, where it's supposed to be the hottest autumn ever. Police report 52 property damage collisions, 12 hit and run, and four resulting in injury, all as a result of snow. And their police are urging motorists to slow down and stop being such arseholes for these road conditions. Sixty-eight collisions took place across the city on Saturday between 9 and 5 p.m. That's a hell of a day of crashes. Four incidents resulted in injury, police said, but not elaborate on how serious they were. There were 12 hit-and-run collisions. A bunch of scumbags up in Canada, apparently. And that's tonight's first boom. We mean it when we say it. Some of Manitobans wake up to snow-covered lawns on the first day of fall after the Canadian forecaster said it was going to be the warmest autumn ever, apparently as an April Fool's prank. Even the pigs were getting in on the action. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Snow pigs. Snow hits the prairies of Canada. Yeah, it did today after the Canadian Meteorological Agency predicted the warmest autumn ever as parts of Saturday morning. Snowfall warnings were still in effect for parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan after the Canadian Meteorological Association was totally full of shart. Apparently, they had been talking to Al Gore. Snow started falling immediately as Al Gore hung up in the areas Thursday night. September snow records have already been broken in Alberta with snow blanketing several communities on the last official day of summer. September snow records in summer have already been broken in Alberta. Additional snow will be seen through Saturday. <laughs> it's hot up there. Whew, all that snow, man. Here today, gone tomorrow, Saskatchewan hit with early snow. Say it ain't snow. Yeah, Kindersley, Rosetown, and Outlook received 15 centimeters of the day of the autumn equinox. This is after the Canadian Meteorological Association predicted it to be the warmest autumn ever. Apparently, that starts off with 15 centimeters of hot snow. Summer is leaving Saskatchewan with a rude and powdery hot snow awakening for residents. Many woke up to the hottest, snowiest province ever. The day of the autumnal equinox, with areas of Kindersley, Rosetown, and Outlook receiving up to 15 of the hottest centimeters of the white global warming overnight. Yes, it was insane. Puppies were burning up in the fluff. Here we go. Holy snow. Here we snow. UK weather. Britain could be hit by four months of snow in the coldest winter for a decade. After heat wave. But they had to throw that in there. <laughs> because they're full of it. And that's a boom. Snow in Rotong has hoteliers, hoteliers. These are people who run hotels, elated. The hotel owners are elated at the snow at the high mountain passes in India. Now, Al Gore promised us our children would never see snow, but upon my reporting, on the first day of autumn in the Northern Hemisphere, there seems to be snow everywhere. Ow! The Watcher's News Brief, September 22nd, catastrophic flash flooding in Nebalu, Tunisia. This is in insane. <laughs> it's like downtown Leroy Brown. Look at these people trying to save other people and so on and so forth. This is death water. You do not want to be hanging around in this shit. These people are, this are about to be washed away. Now, hopefully they're trying to save people in these cars, but this is quickly rising and he... He's not going to hold on to his car. It's going away, buddy. These are some tragic videos coming out of Tunisia from today. Absolutely insane in the membrane. He's just sitting there with his arms crossed like, Oosh. does anyone have a cigarette? You got a cigarette? Did I get a quarter of my meter?
He's literally bumper cars. Watch this guy. Look at the speed of this flood water. There's a train in it to win it. Bye bye. That sedan is gone. That's valet parking for you in Tunisia today. Whew. Thank you, watchers, for this amazing compilation footage. Totally amazing. Dallas-Fort Worth area sets new September rainfall record. Texas, we just showed you that these ancient wells are now flowing. Multiple water rescues across Oklahoma totally flux there. The same weather system that affected Dallas-Fort Worth and gave them record rain made temporarily impassable dozens of Oklahoma roads on Friday. Parts of the state, including Fitztown, received as much as nine inches of fucking rain. What the f is going on? Massive dust storm engulfs parts of Co Kuwait. A massive dust storm coming from Iraq engulfed parts of Kuwait on September 22nd, causing low visibility, increased chance of rainfall in the coming days, and tons of dust in your eye. Yes. We're not waiting for that. Let's talk about this rain. What's going on? According to Heinrich Svensmach, cosmic rays cause increased cloud nucleation in the middle atmosphere, just above 12,000 feet, up to around 20,000 feet, which is exactly where rain is produced all across the globe. Now, if these cosmic rays are actually responsible for making clouds, increased cloud nucleation causes increased rain worldwide, then the data set we're looking at is alarming because in just a year and a half cosmic rays are increasing across north america based on actual science it's amazing yeah we did it seismic update let's get back to these four quakes in 20 minutes 5.4 in chile 5.1 west indian antarctic ridge 3.8 in Pakistan. Let's not discount that. Let's say five quakes in 20 minutes, but four major. 5.2 in the Dominican Republic, one of the largest quakes. And this is on land, so this is not, uh, there could be damage happening right now in the Dominican. And then a 6.4 in Guam, also over land. Let's bring it in. I think I confirmed this was on land. No, this is out to sea, thankfully. Okay, so the Dominican Republic is the only quake that may be causing damage and some heartache currently. But those five quakes happened in 20 minutes just moments ago. Worldwide Volcano News Update, Reventador. Kataminch erupted today. Popo as well, Ducono, Ibico. We also have activity at Krakatoa and an explosion over at Saku the other day, someone sent me a link to. That's Sukurajima. Japan successfully lands robot rover on asteroid surface. Two of them. That's an exact a box. The rovers known as Minerva 2-1 have landed on the asteroid Ryugu. And it is, Japan is currently number one in badass space technology. Not America. We blow. Thanks, Musk. Space Weather News. We've been geomagnetic instability for 24 hours, a moderate geomagnetic storm about 28 hours ago, and that's setting off some interesting electron flux readings and aurora coming all the way into Minnesota here with a 10% probability, 50% in most of the Canadian provinces. Get outside, look up. You. National Preparedness Month, September 2018. Disaster happens. Prepare now. Learn how. Come over here to the deal of the day at Oppenheimer Ranch Project where you support the channel and you support your preparedness. This is the cheapest price on a 30-day food supply system on the planet. $87.58. It's almost 40% off. The channel gets $8.75. Each one of these you buy. Buy 100. Do it now. 30-day supply. 307 servings. 35 food pouches. 54,670 total calories, 1,820 calories per day for you and your loved ones to survive and thrive in a bad time. 20 year shelf life, four and a half thing stars. What more do you need? 82 questions answered. There is no excuse. Unless you want to pay $143 at every other place on Amazon, do this now. Bot 
Take that $1,000 and buy 10. Do it now. Whew. I'm gonna. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Preparedness is an issue. We gave you lots of reasons why you should prepare now for the times ahead. Here's a good one. Total solar irradiance is on the decline and it's going to be declining for up to eight decades. So if you're worried about what's going to happen in your lifetime, that pretty much covers it. Prepare now. Be safe.